Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a duck bun. Pretend for a moment that those aren't chickens and they are in fact ducks, but this build is part of my Animal House build series. And not only does this kind of just qualify as a nice little animal sanctuary, but I did think that it'd look kind of cool included on some houses. So I have only built it on the one because it takes quite a long time to build. I've added it to my suburban house and I actually think that it makes the house look really, really cool. I think that's kind of a nice accessory. Maybe it's a little bit big in comparison to the house. Maybe you'd want to add it to a much larger house, but I do think that it kind of adds something to the house and I think that it makes it look absolutely amazing. And coupled with the cars and the tree house that we have in the background, this house has been catapulted into different levels of awesome with this build. If you do want to build either this suburban house and everything that comes with it, or some more animal related builds, I'll leave links in the card system and the description below, and also on the screen as I snap both of my fingers, since those are two playlists, both of those will appear on the screen as annotations and you'll be able to click them. But let's talk about this duck pond whatever use you want to use it for. So to make this, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some oak wood planks and some spruce wood planks. We'll also need some oak wood stairs and some spruce wood stairs. Grab spruce wood slabs, oak wood slabs. Also grab some dark oak wood slabs. You'll also need some oak fence and you'll also need some grass blocks. So this is is what you're going to want to do once you have each one of those materials. First of all, we need a decent amount of land. You can make the pond bigger, you can make it smaller, but either way, you're probably going to want a sizable amount of land here. And to make this, we're going to first of all start off with a little structure to actually build this on. So we're going to start off with a row of five grass block on the floor. That's one, two, three, four, five. It wants to be built up on a mound of grass. And then we want to, on top of this very first grass block here, we want to stack an oak wood stairs like this. And it wants to be facing that direction towards the center here. Then right of that stairs, we want to place an oak wood plank. Then we want to go up on top of that plank by one. Then, facing away from this plank, we actually want to have like an opposite facing, upside down oak wood stairs. So it kind of wants to form this sort of shape, like a C shape like this. And once you've got that taken care of, you actually want to go right of this second oak wood plank. You want to go right by one with the oak wood plank, uh, with the oak wood slabs. And then you want to do an oak wood plank, then go down from that by one. Then you want to do an oak wood stairs going right of that. And then you want to have like an opposite facing oak wood stairs, kind of like form a backward C shape like this. So we kind of want to have something which should look like that. I know it's a little difficult to understand, I'm sorry, but that's that's kind of what you want to go for. And what you want to have here is you want to have um, in front of each one of these second oak wood planks, we want to have a spruce wood stairs, kind of like facing outwards like this. Connect those stairs together at the top with a spruce wood slab and also do an oak wood fence underneath each one of those stairs like this. That's what you want to have, it's kind of easy. Well, once you've done that, you then want to come to the left-hand side of the build. You want to be on the left-hand side of the build here and you want to, going left of this bottom stair, do an oak wood slab. You then want to do a spruce wood slab and then you want to build up that spruce wood slab until it's equal height with the like the front of the build so like this you then want to go from the bottom of this uh, of this slab you want to go left by one the oak wood slab and then what you actually want to do is you want to place an oak wood stairs and it kind of wants to be facing this way towards the back kind of like that backward c shape that we have and then on top of that and this is difficult to do here um you're going to want to do the upside down oak wood stairs that kind of like forms the backward c like this and then going left of these two blocks, you want to have a row of spruce wood planks, like that. So, two spruce wood planks stacked on top of each other. You then want to go left of the bottom and top of those planks with a layer of oak wood slabs, so one and two. You then want to do a spruce wood plank going left of each one of those slabs, like that. You then want to have... Uh, you then want to have the upside down and regular facing um, oak wood stairs like uh, forming the C shape like on the left of this to have this sort of shape. Then coming to the right hand side of what we've made, we want to have coming out from the bottom here, the spot on the stair coming forwards, we want to have the one oak wood slab, then the spruce wood slabs stacked on top of each other to form two spruce wood planks. And then we want to connect back with an oak wood slab like this. And also if you want, you can connect um, 
the front and the back together with layers of like oak wood slabs like that. So we can kind of form like this sort of shape. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we're after. Well, once you've done that, um, what you want to do is you actually just want to fill the bottom of this in with spruce wood planks. And that is going to be the floor. And also, just underneath the entrance as you walk in, just fill that in with spruce wood planks. And that is going to be the floor. And now it's time for the roof. Oh, you know, whilst we're at it, um, if you get rid of the grass blocks for a while, we'll need them again. Um, just grab some, like, torches and place a torch, like, here and here, like, on the inside of those second spruce wood plank blocks, like, on the left and right, like that. We then want to take out our dark oak wood slabs, and we want to focus on the roof. The roof's easy, though. Um, right at the front, we want to take this upper upside-down oak wood stair, and we want to go left of it by one with the dark oak wood slab. Then, like, coming upwards diagonally, we want to place another slab. And then we want to do another, still coming upwards diagonally. Then we want to do another, still coming upwards diagonally. Then we want to do three bottom right diagonals, but it's easier to do like one here, then one here on the right, and then it's easier to just like build that there and then replace that. It's difficult to place it because you're using a lot of slabs, and as soon as you like place one on top and then destroy the one underneath, it destroys the one that was there. You guys know how slabs work, it's kind of hard. Well, once you've got that taken care of, you can see how the roof's going to go. And we need to fill the center of this in, with our dark oak wood slabs so that it's so that it's actually like filled in from the outside and we have that kind of cool pattern um but what you then want to do is you want to take each one of these blocks of the roof and you want to extend them coming towards the back here with the dark oak wood slabs and this is just going to form the roof it's very very easy and uh, you just want to take each one of these and you just want to drag it back and then of course we have to fill the inside of this thing in so we can just like um we can just fill it in from the outside and it'll end up looking a little something like that and what we can now do is we can get rid of the torches and uh we can pick up our grass blocks again and you just want to go all the way around the underneath part of the little duck house you just want to go all the way around like that now we want to add another layer of grass going all the way around the outside of it and this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky and the reason that they're going to get a little bit tricky is because i'm not going to be giving you a direct block for block tutorial of what's about to happen so what we're now going to do is we're going to go all the way around this again with our grass blocks and we're not going to do it in like a uniform pattern. We're going to do it in such a way that this little mound that the ducks sleep on where their home is, it's going to be like random. And we just want to go around it randomly with our grass blocks. And we just want to make it look a little bit messy. And we want to, I, I don't know, we just want to rough it up a little bit. The area that they that they live on just wants to look a, a little bit messy. That's all it is. And uh, you can even it out so it's like very similar on both sides. Or you can have the same on either side or you could do just do a big giant circle but i like the idea that it's a bit of a messy area well once you've got the little mound taken care of and here's mine just to just to show you i mean it's it's just a very random shape you want to come to the left hand side of what you've made and you want to take out your spruce wood stairs so on the left hand side of this there's a little bridge that connects the like the little island in the middle to the outside so you can actually walk and have a look at your ducks and we want to have in the we need a row three for this we need an upside down spruce wood stairs an upside down oak wood stairs followed by an upside down spruce wood stairs like this we then want to take each one of these stairs and we want to extend them left by like a random amount this bridge can be as long as you want but so it can be like and we want to use slabs for this like one two and three and then one two three and then like uh one two three like this. And then we want to... Oh, I used the wrong slab there. And then we want to connect them to the ground using the appropriate stairs. So use spruce wood stairs where you have to and use oak wood uh, stairs where you have to. We then want to place a row of oak fence on top of the spruce wood or the spruce wood slab blocks. Basically all the way there. Like basically where, where you can place them without them looking weird like that but it looks like weird on the end it doesn't want to like overlap onto the stair it wants to look like this and once you've got that taken care of we can now move on to the next important part so, <laughs> did i just say pat i have no idea where that accent just came from that's absolutely bizarre so we'll need water for this next part we'll need uh we'll need some cobblestone slabs we'll need some bone meal We'll also need a little bit of we'll need grass again, as a matter of fact. We use a lot of grass here. And what I used is double tall grass and regular tall grass. So this is what we're going to be doing next. And this next part is very individualized as well. So we're going to take 
each end of the bridge here. So like this spruce wood stair of the bridge. And we're going to, with our cobblestone slabs, we're going to draw the shape that we want the pond to be. So I want my pond to be a very random shape. But I do want it to be kind of circular shaped. Obviously, the, the shape of the pond can change dependent upon what sort of, what where are you placing it what's it going to be placed in is it going to be placed in a house is it going to be like in the middle of nowhere what sort of shape is the house what sort of shape is the place that you're actually placing this right now it obviously doesn't matter for me but if we were placing it in a house then obviously we'd have to make it smaller and we'd probably have to make it a certain shape like it can be any shape this pond it could be a big giant rectangle if you wanted to it could be a it could be a square it could be a circle it could be a it, it could be like a solid circle it, it doesn't have to be like an abstract shape like this but i kind of like the idea of it being relatively circular shaped it's a bit more square than circle here but I like it, I like it like that. And we have cobblestone slabs marking it out. And what we're now going to do is we're going to destroy each one of these grass blocks surrounding or being encompassed by the cobblestone slabs. It's very easy. So we're going to destroy each one of these. And I'll tell you what, to save us actually having to like build this up later, as we go around the little mound... <laughs> which rhymes, I'm basically Dr. Seuss. As we go around the mound, you might want to leave a couple of the grass blocks around the mound. Uh, you might just want to leave a couple of the grass blocks alone. So we have like two tiers here. So if you just leave a couple of the grass blocks alone as you go around the little duck's living mound, the little duck's living pond, like this, it'll you'll then have like two tiers of grass rather than just the one, and it'll look a little bit more interesting. So just to clear around this a little bit, just uh, just so that it's uh, it's a little bit more obvious, just so that it's a little bit more pronounced. Um, I'm leaving some of the grass blocks alone, and that'll mean that uh, that'll mean that the ducks have like two levels rather than one, if you if that makes any sense. So just looking at it now, and I just have a little bit more to destroy here. There we go. So I'm just leaving a little bit of grass alone. I now have to destroy all of the other grass inside of the cobblestone circle. I'm going to replace that with water, and then I'll show you how to make it look just a little bit nicer, and then we'll be done. It's not a hard tutorial. I'll be back in a moment once I've knocked out all the grass, replaced it with water. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is what your dog pond should look like once you've completely cleared all of the grass, you've added water, and you have a nice little mound that has now two tiers of grass around it. Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add random grass blocks, and we're going to use these sparingly around the pond. Oh, we've got some we've got some water flow there. Um, we're going to use these sparingly, and what we're going to do on top of these blocks is we're going to be placing some double tall grass and we're going to be placing some well that that didn't end very well for the grass and we're going to be placing some regular tall grass and this is just going to be placed a little bit randomly and uh, I guess I'm doing a little bit of a pattern here and it just kind of makes the pond look a little bit more interesting and something else that you can add that I, I just realized of course you can add this I didn't even think about it at the time um, you can just add some lily pads if you like a couple of a couple of random ones we don't really want to fill the pond up too much, but um, then I get, I wonder if the ducks, I, I say ducks in air quotes, I wonder if the chickens can uh, can stand on these, I'm sure, I'm sure they can, and it, it just makes it look a little bit more interesting, I can't believe that I never considered that, and uh, what else can you add, so if you want you can also add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of an area around the pond as well, you can use the bone meal, you can make it look a little bit more interesting, it depends where you're placing this place, um, if this, if this is like in some sort of like next to a mansion or wherever, then maybe it'd be a bit more well kept, right, I mean, it, I, I imagine that somebody would tend to it, like if, if we're talking like real life here, but, I mean, if you place this, like, at a campsite, uh, this thing would look awesome on a campsite. Or if you place it, like, out somewhere in the world, like in a park or something like that, then it might be a bit more less kept like this. And also, we can add some bone meal to the actual island itself. Um, we're going to, or at least I'm going to, you, you can, you can, not, it's up to you. I'm going to thin it out a little bit. So the path that the ducks, chickens, 
No, they're, they're chickens. Um, so the the path that the chickens would take, I'm going to thin out a little bit, and I might thin out some of the grass. Um, I'm really looking for flowers like that, and that's that's great. That's fantastic. And um, something else I'm going to add. Where is it? Where are they? So let's let's add some some ducks. Oh, something else that we can add. If you add a fence gate, this doesn't really work that well. But if you add a fence gate to uh, to the bridge, I found that less chickens escape. Although chickens do still escape. Let's, let's put a load in. Here. We haven't got that many. Are. Okay, so there we have load of chickens. There we have our little duck pond, and I think that this is a pretty cool build. I've uh, I've been really loving. We get rid of those. I've really been loving. I didn't take off the hand, did I? I didn't take off the hand. How silly of me. There we go. So I've really been loving. Oh, they're so cute. I've really been loving these animal builds, and I thought that this would be something a little bit different, and it'd be kind of like a little bit multi-purpose. Like not only is this kind of like an animal. An animal shelter, a little place where the animals can hang out, but it does also function as a really cool housing accessory, or a park accessory, or a school accessory, or a campsite accessory, like anywhere that you may think that this will fit in. It, it's not just like a random animal sanctuary, like like a farm that you could make, or a zoo, like you might be able to see like that sheep house over there. I mean, where else is that going to go? You can't attach that to a house. This is two things. And I hope that you guys like it. I hope you appreciate it. I actually spent a fair amount of time on this. I think it looks really good. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a favorite, give it a share. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. Comment down below, what else do you want me to make next? A lot of you guys have been asking for a cow house. Cow sanctuary, cow pen, however you want to call it. A lot of you guys have been asking for that. That's definitely going to be the next one, and then I guess the I guess we'll then discover what you guys want after that. I'd, we'll be running out of animals soon. Um, card system, check that out. Check out the description below for all of my other videos and playlists. I'll be leaving links to those, especially my animal house playlist. I'll be leaving that there, and some other builds that would look good with this particular build. So check all those out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>